poppin people smasher here with another video showing you guys how to complete act six easily today we have uh act uh 6.1.5 which is the crossbones quest the big scary crossbones quest now act six has been nerfed and this fight has been changed so i'm pretty sure uh, he never used to have this poison node, because I used Magneto to beat him, <clears throat> but I don't think that would work anymore, because now he has poison. So what you're gonna need is a poison immune champ. Um, and we're also gonna be taking this path right here, along the left side. So, bring in a poison immune champ. I, listen, <laughs> I have to bring Hulkling. He is rank 4, 6 star, but keep in mind you could do this with a 5 star. I just don't have 5 star Hulkling ranked up. And the reason I'm bringing him is I'm looking at poison immune champs and a lot of them are uh, science and they have class disadvantage. So, But other, other um, champs you could bring like Captain Marvel, Hyperion... Um, and then whoever's poison immune, but I'm bringing Hulkling. <coughs> He's kind of overpowered, but that's all right. You guys can forgive me. You can do the same thing with a five star, I promise. Just boost up. All right. Um, we got Superior Iron Man here is the first fight. So you're going to take a bunch of damage, but it's fine. You'll heal it back so don't worry the global node is power struggle so what this is you basically will only have power when the opponent has power uh, i'll just go into the fights so you can see but basically when they're at a bar of power you're at a bar of power when they're at two bars you're at two bars the problem is, once they throw it, you lose it. And you're like, okay, that's not that bad. The thing is, you can't really do your own special attacks. Because you're gonna push them to special 3. Like, you can do what I just did. Alright. They didn't go to special 3, but you have to be careful. So ideally, you don't really want to be doing specials. But it's okay to. Uh, as long as you're 100% sure it's not going to push to special 3. But you really want someone who doesn't uh, need special attacks to do a lot of damage. So Hood is actually a great example. Uh, I brought him in for the Kingpin synergy, but... He is an amazing champion on his own. And he can definitely be useful on this path, as you can see right here. So I'm not even doing special attacks, and the damage is just adding up. Like, uh, this is only a rank 4, 5 star. So this is what I imagine the level that you guys are at is, like, rank f 4, 5 stars. And uh, that's what Hood is, so... Here you go. 105 hits. But we didn't take any damage. Next fight. Falcon. He is stun immune and has masochism. So, pretty annoying, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to use Hulkling. Uh, don't get mad. Don't. I don't want to see anybody in the comments saying anything about me using a rank four, five star, six star. Uh, you can do this with a five star, but I don't have Hulkling ranked up as a five star. And I do not want to rank up a five star just for this video. But this is just saving me time. Uh, and 
uh, you can honestly do the same thing with the five star. It's just going to be slower. You're going to deal less damage. But that's the only thing. Like, he has the same utility. It's just the only thing is damage and health. My Hulkling will obviously have more health and do more damage than yours. But if you have a rank 4 5 star or rank 5 5 star and you boost up, then you're going to have no problem. I'm telling you. And honestly, you can use anybody for this fight. Just, you don't really want to be doing debuffs. And the thing that actually helps is that he is stun immune anyway, so you can't even stun him to put that debuff on. So I like to use Hulkling. Basically, the, the reasoning for that is... Uh, <clears throat> Since he can uh, break through the block with the unblockable, it becomes easier to get openings because he's stun immune. So it's hard to get openings, but because I have the unblockable, it becomes easier. Alright, this guy is not stun immune, so Nimrod. I know I've used Nimrod a lot in this series, but... You can use any tech champ, honestly. But Nimrod is my favorite tech champ. And also, I think he is the best tech champ in the game. So if you have a, f a Nimrod, uh, bring him and use him. Because he'll make your life easy. As you can see, that was insanely fast. Look at that, 26 seconds. That's why you bring Nimrod. Future Ant-Man would work as well. Don't worry. If you have him, bring him. Alright, next. Venom. Uh, yeah. The lower the health he's got, the less damage you're gonna do, so... I feel like... Hood might slap this guy, though, because of all those buffs, but... You can bring any Mystic for this, or any Champion at all. It doesn't even have to be Mystic. <clears throat> if you're wondering, on another champ that would work amazing, Longshot would be amazing for this. He absolutely melts Venoms. <coughs> I use Longshot to beat the Act uh, 4 Venom, I think it was. My 4-star Longshot. Since then, I've never got a long shot as a six star, but I finally just got him. Uh, I, I might rank him up, but I don't have that much uh, resources. I don't really know what's going on in this fight. He keeps getting stunned. I don't know what from. But yeah, with Venom, you want to bait special ones. As you saw, I wasn't doing a good job of that earlier when I got slapped by that special two. But luckily, I'm still alive. Venom can be an annoying defender because he's really aggressive. And I find him uh, annoying because his animations are hard to dodge because he hits you so fast. I'm just going to lock in that damage. So, now that he has low health, I'm supposed to be doing less damage. But if you have the Assassin Mastery, which you probably don't, but you might, it'll help here. <coughs> Sorry, my throat hurts. All right, done. Once again, you can use anybody for that. Doesn't even have to be Mystic. Bring your favorite champ, and you're good. Next, She-Hulk. She's immune to bleed. Um, immune or increasing the duration of stun on the attacker. I don't really get that, but. Every 15 seconds after the start of the fight, the defender regenerates 50%. <clears throat> That's annoying. So she's bleed immune. Don't bring in champs that need bleed damage. 
So I'm gonna use Kingpin and see how that goes. Um, I keep missing the parry. There we go. So I obviously have Kingpin with the hood synergy. And he is actually slapping her right now. Dang. Kingpin is uh, my favorite skill champ in the game. Keep in mind, I don't have Shang-Chi. When I say I don't have a champ, I mean I don't have him as a six star. So I'm <clears throat> pretty sure I have like every five star, but. Well, not Archangel. I don't have that guy as a five or six star still. It's crazy. But yeah, Kingpin's my favorite skill champ. Elsa Bloodstone is actually on her way up there as well. I just like using her. You can bring her here if you have her. She's pretty good. But the main thing for progression is just bring your best champs. Like, obviously, some work better than others. Some, you know, times you do actually need, like, a hard counter. But for this, you don't. We're going to see when we get to crossbones. I'll give you guys better tips on who to bring once we get there. But I haven't fought the guy in, like... A year or two and I haven't fought him with the poison node so I don't really know all right he's immune to stun so that's annoying got to bait heavies or intercept if you guys didn't know what I meant by intercepting by the way if you watched episode one or two I mentioned intercepting I think it was episode one basically when you intercept the opponent's dash like this and it can be dangerous that's an intercept that's an intercept that's an intercept that's an intercept so basically if you dash back and then dash forward right away <clears throat> it usually works but not always i wouldn't try it it requires a lot of practice and it's just like something i have a feel for now but it definitely took a long time to get used to. And it still fails me sometimes. But I've definitely got a lot better with it. And it's a great skill to have in this game. Especially for fights like these where they're stun immune. It's actually um, a lifesaver. But yeah, keep in mind that heavy attacks two hits, I usually get hit by it. I'm surprised I haven't got hit by it yet in this fight. I always forget about the second hit, so make sure you don't forget about it. But Nimrod absolutely melts. Like I said, you kind of have to play these fights as if you are not going to throw any special attacks. So, Or maybe use somebody that has good special ones like Apocalypse. Alright, buffet. When the attacker triggers a buff, it's nullified and the defender regenerates 15% of their max health. <clears throat> so you want to use someone that doesn't have a lot of buffs. And even if they don't have a lot of buffs, dexing puts a buff on you. So you kind of got to avoid dexing. If you don't know what I mean by dexing, I mean using the dexterity mastery. As in like dodging a special attack or something. I just messed up there. So watch. I'm going to dex. And then he's going to heal. See? So that's annoying. But I have to bait this out. And he's at full health. Goddamn. Alright. Well, that's not good. I'm going to throw special ones with Kingpin here. I'm going to try to not dex again. Uh, this node, buffet, very annoying. I know you guys dealt with it in Act 5. And after this series, I might go to Act 5 as well. I just thought Act 6 would be better. Act 5 is kind of easy. 
for me. So as you see, I'm just not dexing. I'm just eating all that damage, all the block damage. Because I don't want him to heal. See, I dodged that late or early, I think. Yeah, early. So that way I didn't dex. So I don't get a buff. If you're really struggling with this fight, you can bring in buff immune champs like Titania. Spider-Man 2099 is immune to the dex, I think. Um, Who else is buff immune? I don't know. There's some new champs that are buff immune. But Titania is the one that's coming to mind right now. Or you can play it how I am and trying to not dex. Or you can bring Archangel and he'll absolutely melt. But I don't have him. Archangel would melt a lot of these fights, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so I'm going to bring in a backup just in case I die. Because I don't know how this is going to go. And let's experiment, actually. Because Hulkling, he's probably going to get the job done. So I'm, I'm going to bring Scorpion. All right, he's going to be poison immune, but I have class disadvantage. And Crossbones is probably going to purify all my debuffs. So this is probably going to be horrible. But we'll see. So I want poison and shock. There we go. Whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as I have poison immunity. This is just a tester run. Let's see if Scorpion works for this fight. I don't think he will. Because it's like kind of a horrible matchup. Because, yeah, he's just going to purify all my debuffs. And then I'm going to do no damage. But let's see, maybe worst case scenario, you have to bring Scorpion. I don't know, guys. This, I don't know about this. Let's see. Let's keep going. Looks like he's going down. Slowly but surely, he's going down with Scorpion. I don't like that healing. Hmm. Should I quit out of the fight? To save you guys' time? Or do you guys want to see me do this whole fight with Scorpion? I wonder. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, I'm sure you guys can see that Scorpion would work for this fight but it's just gonna take a very long time but if you only have like scorpions you're only poison immune you can use them but basically you don't want to be using anybody with their damage coming from debuffs because crossbones purifies and you're not going to be able to do much damage but let's just see I just want to get a little bit more. I'm going to let him kill me. Alright. So Scorpion would work as you can see. It just takes a very long time. I wouldn't recommend him. But if that's your only option then. That's your only option. And then another thing I wanted to see. Actually no. Kingpin. Let me just test this. I took a hood, but would Kingpin purify this poison? Oh, yeah, he did. Okay, I didn't expect that, to be honest. So Kingpin purified that poison. So now it just doesn't matter. So what we've learned here is you can bring in a skill purified champ 
and then they'll just purify the poison. So let's say you don't have a poison immune that's good, and you have Kingpin. All right, bring Kingpin in. I'd bring Hood just to be safe, but he just purified it for me, but he might not for you. I don't know. But yeah, Kingpin clearly works. He's slapping. Definitely faster than Scorpion. I'm surprised, honestly. I didn't think he was going to shrug off that poison. But yeah, you could probably bring Crossbones in for this. You can definitely bring Kingpin. You're not going to really want to bring Science Champs. I don't know, a lot of, the reason why I say that is because a lot of the poison immune are science. But there is some cosmics like Captain Marvel, Hyperion. Um, Hulkling. Alright. I kind of want to finish the fight off with Hulkling. Just so you guys can see that he works i'm pretty sure you can guess that he works but i just want to show off as many options as i can so scorpion not the best kingpin definitely a good option and nimrod would work too hmm do i want to waste your time now all right well nimrod would work i think but let's just show hulkling He's obviously going to slap. He's rank 4, 6 star. But your rank, uh, well, your 5 stars will work as well. Uh, whoops. Crossbone, you want to beat special ones? And that's it, and that's it. All right. So, Crossbones, not really a hard boss anymore. If you struggle with that, I just showed you some options you can bring. Any science, or sorry, any poison immune champ would work. Uh, theoretically, Kingpin works. Purifiers will work. And yeah. Let me know. Drop a comment down below if this video helped. And make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Peace.